So now in this video, we have a light dependent resistor uh, voltage divider right here. And the lamp was at a dimmer setting. Now it's brighter and you can see the voltage goes up. We dim the lamp now, the voltage goes down. So looking pretty good, but I also have my uh, flashlight here. And uh, so there you can see the light spread out. But in any case, there you can see it's not a steady line even when I hold the flashlight on it uh, steadily. It does have a side light that I can use, and I just looked at it, I kind of blinded myself a little bit. And there you can see we got a pretty steady line right there. We could probably work with uh, that line, but um, if we're sending a signal to something, that's probably gonna rapidly like switch it on and off if uh, we have a specific voltage we want to be for it to be on or off. So I have a, a simple uh, fix right here we have a capacitor and this is a 47 microfarad capacitor looks like uh, this is probably the uh, minimum value I want to use for this particular project the diagram I made I made a long time ago um, so we have the positive side of the capacitor because it's polarized to uh, where the voltage divider is up there taking our uh, measurement I just have uh, there's a little hook on here when you squeeze this hook comes out I just uh, clip the hook to that jumper and then the other end of the jumper, we go there. That's for the uh, positive side of the probe. And then the uh, ground side right here is an alligator clip. And uh, we got that to the negative supply, even though uh, I probably can't see that. There we go, negative supply. So that's the voltage difference we have. That voltage in relationship to uh, zero volts. So in any case, let's get back uh, to the flashlight. So we have the one where it was, um, I'm on battery, so that's going to clear out a little in a little while if you don't uh, do anything. Um, but there you can see, it's uh, pretty straight uh, right there. I don't think it's perfectly straight, um, so it may not work with uh, some things, but it will definitely work with something a lot better than when it was jumping way up and down as we saw earlier. So now we got the oscilloscope and the jumpers out of the way. You can see the schematic there and the circuit over there. So without the capacitor again, when uh, we had the flashlight hitting it, so it's called pulse width modulation, the light level that you can sense is uh, adjusted by how long the flashlight is on versus off. It's just switching on and off uh, rapidly. And um, so when we had the output though, the oscilloscope can really sense that, even though our eyes can't sense that it's turning on and off. That's why we saw the uh, bouncing around. And uh, so with the capacitor there, so a long time ago, I tested out capacitor values and it looks like 47 microfarad was the minimum. Uh, the larger you use, the smoother the line will be. But in any case, uh, when you have the light hitting it, it takes time for the voltage to rise. And then when the light turns off, it takes time for the voltage to go down. And uh, so if you go quick enough, it's gonna hold really steady right there, just kind of bouncing at an average point. 